you think you're going to fall, you know, as far as if you flip it, you know, um, as far as a profit margin versus, uh, you know, you holding it? Well, holding it. We'll, we'll see what the interest rates are by holding it. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> but flipping it, um, I figured the ARV being right around 375, 380. Okay. Uh, I actually picked the property up for 60 grand. Wow. Never a sell for no. I, I, I fished around for an architect for months, and all I kept on hearing was no. And it just never settled for no. There's always, always an avenue to go. You can always make money. If you have a vision, you can do it. 100%. To do better in their business, but I also have to... I don't know how to do it. All right, so we are inside uh, this beautiful house and he just finished up framing and they're about to put drywall in tomorrow. Is that right? Yeah. So they're about to put in drywall tomorrow. And so this is the reason why we're here, but at least we want to go over it and see this beautiful work. So we're actually standing right in the middle of the kitchen. At least this was the old kitchen. Is this going to be the same? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, but... If you look right there where that window is, where he explained that's where the door was, that was the door to come on the inside from the side. From the, that was the door to come in from the, uh, from the driveway, okay? So you come in through there and uh, this goes right into the kitchen. Now the front door is right there and that's the living room. So, um, you know, so walk us through a little bit about what you did over here. Yeah, sure. So, first of all, trying to figure out this space was was a challenge, uh, yeah. especially with where that door was located. Um, is actually you, Randy, that came up with the idea of moving the door in the first video. Yeah. And we ran with it because it made a lot of sense. Because then it allowed us to now move the kitchen all in this area. Uh huh. Um, this used to be a wall right here. Uh -huh. with a, I think it only had like a 36 or 42 inch opening yep. archway to go through. So we opened this all up. So now we got the nice open concept and you've got nice flow from the front of the house to the back of the house. And, and just to life. show you from the other side, that is the back sliding door going out to the back side. So literally from the front to the back. All right. And so from here, we took out the door now, are you, how are you gonna put in the cabinets? Are, is it gonna wrap around? Yeah, it's gonna be a big U-shape. Uh, you got the refrigerator here, cabinet, okay. cabinet, microwave, stove. Okay. Corner, sink right there in the middle of the uh, window. Wrapping uh -huh. all the way around here to the, to the half wall. You got the bar top. Gonna to have some pennant lights coming down right there. Okay. So, um, yeah, so now you got this big, we're gonna have a bunch of recessed lighting all all in there we and as you can see throughout this entire house throughout the entire house and he already has a soffit for the the pendants already made so you can see that this is all pre-planned it's not off the cuff and that's what you have to do in these flips is you have to plan it as much as possible so that during this framing stage once you put drywall in it's very hard to go back and, and with the oh, with it. the wiring so um you know, so with that being said, on this first one, or when you, we first got this, you had a bathroom that was like pretty much primo done. It was nice. It was, it was nice a bathroom. nice bathroom. Yep. What'd you do with it? Had to go. <laughs> had to go. Had to go. It, had to go. It didn't make sense on the way it was set up. Uh, it was set up for a stand-up shower. Uh, this is going to be a family house. We need to get a tub in here. Okay. Uh, I did make the bathroom bigger. Uh, That's moved awesome. The, moved this wall out. Okay. Uh, I think like two feet or something like that. So now it's a big, big main bath. Because uh, in the way that this house is set up, you got the three original bedrooms mm -hmm. over here on the first floor. 
And then, uh, actually, that entire addition on the second floor is all master. It's 15 foot by 40. Now, prior, it was also all master as well. But he added to it, he made it make sense. That's the key, is making it make sense to, say, either an end buyer or somebody who's going to live in here, okay? Um, no matter what, because if it makes sense, it's going to bring more money, right? Absolutely. And if you're already tearing Things everything in. down, you got yeah. you might as well make it make sense, yeah. right? So, uh, uh, just uh, for example, I added a ton of closets in here. Uh, I added a hall closet that wasn't on our original plans. Okay. Uh, the only closet that was actually in here was was this guy and that guy, and then I added this the, guy right here. Yeah, that was the original one, but I added that one that's right right there where that switch box is. Okay. That was never that was not so in So he's original, talking about this one right here. Original there's, plans. there's a there's a closet right in the middle. And then I added another closet inside the the bathroom itself for more storage as well. All right. So, so you can never have enough closets. No, you can't. And, and in that case, we're going to have him walk us through this massive this massive bathroom. So right now we are from the hallway. This is the, the extra closet he added. This is the doorway to get into the bathroom. So why don't you show us the bathroom yeah, over so here? This is your main, main bathroom. Uh, since I ripped off the roof of the house, I also had an opportunity to make a taller ceiling. So I got nine foot ceilings in the bathroom. I actually got nine foot ceiling in the hallway and then We'll show you the detail in the kitchen for the ceiling in there as well. But in this bathroom alone, created a nice shower niche. We're gonna have tile going from the tub all the way up to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So, and then we got our commode right here. Another little closet right there. Okay. And then four foot vanity right there. So we maximized every, every square inch. inch of this place. Uh, I, the t biggest challenge of this entire bathroom project was actually trying to figure out where to locate the switch box when you come in <laughs> because your shower's right here and your door and you're going to want your door to swing this way because you don't want to shut off the nice tile work of your right bathroom so but by code as long as i got glass right here and water can't hit this box we're good so <laughs> <laughs> Got to meet that code. I verified with the inspector when he came out. So, all right. So why don't you go? We're gonna go over to sure. this bedroom over here, and you're yeah. gonna show us yeah, how let you me can get out of this maze because we got <laughs> drywall blocking me everywhere. There we go. That's the good thing about having it open. You just yeah. walk through the walls. Yeah, open concept. <laughs> right. Um, so this is the uh, bedroom three. We'll call it. Uh, there used to be a closet right here. Okay. Uh, they. You know, in these old '50s houses, they always had the Jack and the the Jack and Jill bat or bathrooms, uh, closets that always backed up to each other. So yep. I eliminated that so we could get more square foot in the room. Uh, we had all this dead space underneath the stairs. Yeah. So I turned that into a closet, and so it's going to be a little bit of a funky closet, but it's still still a closet, still functional. It's a little deep, a little short, but you can do a lot of things in there. We'll. Well, I'll show you in a later video how I trim it all out and, Most and maximize all the usage of it. Most definitely. So, and then to this, we just got another be bedroom over yep, here. Yeah, just another bedroom. And, and since I ripped the closet, I just made this closet bigger. Okay. So, because this was a little bit bigger of a bedroom. We're coming so, to the end of the day, so we we'll bear, with us, bear with us with, with the, the lights. Lighting with the lighting but what we'll do is we got another bedroom that that's just a standard bedroom yeah why don't you take us over into the kitchen to yeah, show sure. us the 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 ceiling so on my original plans of the house uh it just was showing an eight foot ceiling straight across but after i got the entire roof framed we had our rafters going up and i saw all this gorgeous space up there like i gotta maximize this yeah uh so i i did the nice wedding cake ceiling here we got uh, can lighting ran throughout all. You know, every four <laughs> can months. lighting everywhere. Yeah, I've got, and then we'll have cans going straight down right there. I'll have a, a couple full. I'll have a couple full beams. Uh -huh. It's all going to be crowned out. I, I'm going. I'm pushing the envelope on the trim package a little bit in here, but might not get as much return on it. But I think it's just going to look sweet. So, so real quick with this. 
what are you what are your plans with the property um, you know are you planning to flip this are you planning to hold this or um, or are you still undecided I'm undecided but I'm kind of leaning towards doing setting up for Airbnb uh, traveling nurses short-term rental okay. um, so kind of like a midterm yeah to short-term yep. rental yeah okay uh, if not I mean I could always flip it yeah. Run it. I haven't totally figured out my exit strategy on this one yet. Uh, it still might be up in there of moving in here. So, have you gone over budget? I guess that here's the question. No, not yet. Okay, so everything's <laughs> within scope yeah. from the original plan. Yep. Okay. Yep. Awesome. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, walk over here to the front. Let, let, did you change anything over here? Yes. Uh, so we, we moved the wall. Okay. Well, first of all, we moved this door wall. It yep. used to be way down where that window, past that window. Okay, so that door this used door to be... This door wall used to be actually right here. To, it started right here. Okay. This was the old framing to it, so it came to here. Okay. Um, it gave <laughs> the room no flow. Right. So I moved, we moved it down here. This wall used to be back here. Okay. So you just had this big long galley room. And this used to be all mechanical laundry room in here. Uh -huh. uh, so, hey, let's add a bathroom. Why not? So added a bathroom over here, stand up shower. This is a good thing for families because look where the door is to come in from the outside is right back here. So you got a nice big ass mud room. Laundry, okay, yep. laundry area. It'll get a little tight once you get your appliances in here, but I yep. just want to do a little built built-in uh, bench right here. Okay. Coat hooks, and then there'll be a folding table right here. Some upper cabinets. Yep. Boom, boom. A washer dryer, slot sink. I I'm happy that uh, that you went with some of my ideas. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, you know the the furnace and hot water tank is same they, location, same location. They, they need to move them right need to uh, build around them got it so added another bathroom into here that was not here prior Correct. and added value why not so then we come up here and this is the entire living room it's a little narrow but make it work and then we got going stairs going upstairs uh for the master. So why don't we head on up there? All right, so we got this upstairs coming in here, uh, coming up the stairs, we get, you reframe the entrance, is that right? Yeah, yep, so uh, before, this used to just be one big corridor hallway. Um, I think it was like six foot wide, came mm -hmm. all the way back here where I'm standing right now. So you had all that room to walk, it was, crazy dead space uh the old closet used to be right here so you had okay. all this this was all wasted space so now we just scooted this up uh-huh three foot and kept the original closet but we just moved the wall over so now we got one walk-in closet okay and now we got two walk-in closets so we got a his and hers. His and her walk-in closet. Okay. No arguments. Yes, 100%. And then you have the master bath, which is over here. Correct. Yep. And so, because we added the other closet, we had to take away a little bit from the master bath. Is that right? That That's correct. So the way that this setup used to be, there used to be a master up here. Um, but the wall for the master used to be right where I'm standing. Uh -huh. Straight across, door was actually pretty much in the same spot, and it used to be shower, uh, toilet over there in the corner, and then a vanity, and then all all space, just right. dead space, unused, no closets, nothing. Uh, so we maximized the space. What do you need that monster, that big master, or that big? bathroom for right well, we could get another closet and i follow the closet was a lot more functional than some 15 by 15 right. bathroom i mean it's nice to have the space but i think the closet is a better trade-off um, right 
So now we got ourselves a nice five foot shower framed in the shower niche, of course. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much standard with any of our uh, showers. Okay. Uh, five foot his and her vanity commode, and then I framed in a couple more closets because we are obsessed with closets. Linens, man, you got yeah. You got to have a place to put your linens. So tell me a little bit about. Um, if you whatever you want to reveal with the numbers and things like that, that's up to you. Um, but where where do you think you're gonna fall? You know, as far as if you flip it, you know, um, as far as a profit margin versus, uh, you know, you holding it. Well, holding it, we'll we'll see where the interest rates are by holding it. <laughs> um, right. But flipping it. Um, I figured the ARV being right around 375, 380. Okay. Uh, I actually picked this property up for 60 grand. Wow. And um, and I'm going to be somewhere around 100K on the rehab. 100K? Yeah. Wow. So 100K on the rehab, you picked it up for 60. You're in, all in at 160, okay? You're still on, on uh, budget, according to you. Sure. Okay. Uh, so... And you say the ARV is about three seventy five. About three seventy five. That's a huge profit right there. Um, now another thing that he could have done, and there's one of the reasons why he got me involved in the beginning. He was contemplating on wholesaling this property, and he if he would have wholesaled this property, he would have made an easy what thirty grand, 30, 30, 40 grand. Yeah, thirty thirty five grand. Yeah, just within. Hold it for two weeks. Yes, just hold it for two weeks, and that was it. And that would have been easy money. Now he's going to potentially make a, about a almost a two hundred grand profit if he flips it, and it will be infinite return if you hold it yep. and refinance it. Sure, because you can refi it out and go from there. Mm -hmm. So, and it will be infinite because everything that you get out you can refi it because you're so low you're you're at like 50, less than 50 percent of the value right there right. yeah so um so awesome so we're gonna we're gonna follow the process that he's going we're gonna bring it bring back when he gets this finished before he rents it if he rents it right um and we're gonna bring it to you show you but you know anything you want to leave with 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 the viewers out there yeah, never sell for no. I, I I fished around for an architect for months, and all I kept on hearing was no, and it just never settled for no. There's always always an avenue to go. You can always make money if you have a vision. You can do it. One hundred percent. I I one hundred percent agree with that. So we'll see you on the next video. Uh, let's all do deals together. This is how I met met Dan here is by networking. So go out there, network, meet your next Dan, all right? There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a